This is uh, showing you how to adjust your animation. Um, so first of all, I want to see all the animated nodes selected. And to do that, if I click on the root joint, um, it shows the keyframes for the root joint, but if I shift click on this little plus here, you can see the rest of the joints aren't selected. So if I go to um, edit, select hierarchy, it selects all of those. And then I'm gonna, um, I can control click on the IK handles, and then I have everything selected. Um, I can turn that into a button um, by selecting the script here, although I'm, I'm noticing now that it didn't get the hierarchy one, so um, um, a little trick you can do here is something called list selected, so ls-sl, so that stands for list is ls-sl is selected, and then you um, can hit um, enter, it's the enter on the numeric keypad, not the regular enter, or you can go um, um, command execute, which is control E. So it lists all these joints, um, and then I can just do SL and just uh, copy everything up into there. So Control C it should be yeah. Is so I think it's actually select. There we go, and then paste. And so see, I have that all those things. Now is a command select, and then everything listed, triple click, and I'll make a little button out of that. So I'm going to make a new shelf. Um, let's call it anim. And I'll, uh, with that selected, I'm going to middle mouse drag that to my shelf. And then um, while I'm at it, I can make a um, hotkey to keyframe those. So let me just go back to the beginning. I can hit S for keyframe, and you can see it says set keyframe with a few flags, but then it lists all of those. So I'm triple clicking on that line and middle mouse dragging to my shelf. So now this button will select everything, this one will keyframe everything. Um, anyways, but the main point of this was adjusting the speed of the animation. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, click on my animation preferences and make sure my playback speed is set to real time. Uh, then um, let's just watch this. So it's, uh, it's supposed to be hopscotch and uh, it looks very slow right now. And so I want to speed that up. And it's not that evenly slow, but um, because this first part's really slow. So let me just show you a few different ways of doing. So this part between zero and 20 is really slow. So to select that area, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and then click and drag and it highlights that all red. And then these two arrows allow me to move those frames back and forth. And these, there's a little ones hard to see on the outside allows me to scale that. So I'm gonna click and drag that and that'll scale that. But what that did, it left a bigger gap between there and there. So now I'm gonna uh, click here, hold down shift, select all of these, and just grab this by the middle ones and move that back to close that gap some. So let's see what we have so far. Okay, so that first part, the pacing looks a little better to me. Now the rest of it looks really, really, really slow. So I'm gonna use my selection button again, and so right after this hop is complete, pretty much everything after that looks slow. So I'm going to hold down shift and uh, yeah, highlight all that. And if I, I'm kind of missing the thing on the end, so I'm going to click and drag on this to make that a little bit bigger. Then I can grab on this guy and I'm scaling all of this down to make it all faster. 
and let's watch that. Um, better, a little faster maybe. Okay, so it could certainly still use some work, but the main point of this was to show you how you can work on the speed of this. Another thing I recommend is I just double clicked and selected the whole timeline. I'm going to right mouse click and say snap. And that should, as best as possible, put these things to whole number of keyframes rather than fractional keyframes, like between one frame and another. Um, there might still be some in there. I can zoom in on my timeline a little bit now and yeah, these mostly seem to be okay. So, uh, anything else we want to fix? I mean, there's a lot that could be fixed. So, for example, uh, I might work on this. Here's a little area here. So, she lands here, but then the feet move afterwards, and they should kind of stick because she, she just landed on both feet. And let's say frame 50. So the first thing I might do is um, select that root joint, move her down a bit more. Um, I might turn on auto keyframe, we'll just keyframe my changes. And uh, But I hit S to set keyframe for now. And um, these are moving uh, between here and here. So what I might do is uh, select both of those feet and one way I can make them kind of stick here let me make sure they're actually yeah they're not really flat on the ground but the controls are built so let's just not worry about that right now but I'm gonna um, copy and go here and then I'm just right mouse clicking paste paste okay so see how the feet stick better now when she lands. Okay, and this is kind of funny here because she's got both feet off the ground. So, um, so you've got kind of the up, but you don't have enough down here. So for that, so I'm selecting the root. So first of all, yeah, let's maybe move it down more and I have auto keyframe on that red thing so that's going to automatically um, but make sure you, you go to an actual keyframe otherwise it's going to add more and you kind of want to keep that as sparse as possible so um, but see now that one foot should stay on the ground while the other one moves so I'm going to select this foot and I don't know why there shouldn't be two in a row so I'm going to right mouse delete that one and I can copy this one, go here, and paste, paste, okay? So, now one thing you'll notice, if you pull up the body beyond the length of the leg, uh, it will pull the foot off the ground. Although, I think that one just quit makes it. So see how that makes a little more sense because the foot kind of stays on the ground. Uh, but here we still have, you know, we have both feet off the ground for a minute, which in this instance looks a little funny, but let's kind of leave that. So let's watch the whole thing, see what we got so far. Yeah, I mean that last part, I think it looks odd. I think I, what I would say is, again, I'd want this guy to stick until the next one um, goes down, so copy. Paste, paste, and then probably get rid of this one. And if anything, you might you might just have this other one land on the ground sooner. So I've selected this other foot now. So you have it go kind of way high up there. But I would have it, what I would do is I would say, okay, if, if we wanted to go up, 
let's do that sooner. So I shift clicked on that, just that one keyframe so I can move it earlier. So, and then I would have this hit the ground earlier too. So shift click and move that earlier. Okay. And then the bow is a little bit too fast here. So I think that's going to be this joint. Probably between these two keyframes, this red line and this red line. So I'm going to shift click on that one. Move that back a bit. Something like that. Okay. Anyways, there's plenty more you could do, but I just want to give you just a few more basic tools on how to edit your animation after it's created. This um, crazy leg situation, not quite sure what's happening there. Um, why we're getting that result. Um, I'm just going to check on uh, the graph editor in that range. So um, it seems to me that uh, there's a bunch of keyframes on these joints that might be messing things up because we've actually got all the animation on the IK handles. So let's just see what happens if we just delete all of these. Can always undo it. Let's see if that gets rid of that funny thing. Oh, I think it did. So that got rid of that kind of crazy thing because we're not really using those joints. All that animation is being handled by the IK handles. So um, there's really the what was probably happening is the animation on this joint was interfering with the animation on the IK handle and throwing it off. So here we go. Um, So like I said, plenty more you can do, but this is just showing you some basic tools to help you out.